Return to Monkey Island is the name of the game and we are at now the Chuck's ship and we try to go to the Monkey Island and we have to do the uh, soup so we can go to Monkey Island there was a many times Monkey Island now but anyway but now we are at the park and we do we want to recap maybe yeah remind kind me of. But remind me a little. Okay. To get myself to Monkey Island, I had joined LeChuck's crew, in disguise and posing as a lowly swabby. The magic potion that would have taken us to the island had been ruined, and I was searching the ship for a new way for us to get there. Okay. So it's basically say the same thing what I tried to say. So, we have to do the... The soup. That looks like a permanent stain. Yeah, smells worse than it looks. Ah, uh, we can't pick it up. We're not able to pick that up. Try to find something else here. Check out. It's empty now. Yeah. What's that? Plundering prospects. Ah, uh, you won't need those. I'll find a way for us to get to Monkey Island. Hmm. <laughs> You. Hey, Paul, have you got any ideas on how to get to Monkey Island that don't involve a voodoo potion? My mind's a blank. I try to keep it that way if possible. Hey, what is that? Yeah, devil crabs like limbs, apparently. <laughs> okay, we have to look around here and try to find something what we can pick it up and uh, there is the bear read the sign schedule one bell crew voting Two ah yeah, yeah this is this, this one okay how about the cat doesn't like it ah, uh, oops <laughs> What's happened? The crow's nest is up there. Let's go to see there. Oh. These things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all did the same. But there is a bird. Hey, Flambe, ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison. Ready the cannons. Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they are following us. Those double-crossing <laughs> thieves. That's piracy. Well, I'm not sure what else you were expecting under the circumstances. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. This doesn't work. Aha! They're missing a skull. Uh huh. We don't need a potion because they have one. Mm, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. Yeah. Maybe we get their uh, cauldron able to go to Monkey Island or Kuiper's jump, jump on their ship and use the cauldron and the ship to go to Monkey Island. Which way? I don't know. I've got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island. 
So you say it. Ah, you should tell Ion Rose about it. Or someone who cares if <laughs> you can find such a person. Yeah, what we else have here? Climb down. It's going down. Go to talk with the Rose. I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. Ah. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golet gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hole. Whoa, hang on. <laughs> why wouldn't you want to go to Monkey Island? A better question is why would we want to go? There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk Guybrush Threepwood. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 <clears throat> Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. Mm. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Okay. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. Okay, whoa. What do we have in the quest book? Uh, <laughs> we have to get the map too. And change people's mind. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. What would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I can come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. Okay, entertainment. Listen. About that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Mm, not so far. As quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. As a big round box with a ribbon on it and the secret of Monkey Island inside? I don't know. That's just it. 
can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Hmm. That's came up all. Working hard? Never. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Okay. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. I see. Think you'll be done reading soon? No. I don't really have anything else to do. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears, sweet like revenge, and fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. Tell me again about Scorched Alaska. Prepared correctly, it should be like a hot poker to the tongue. Mm -hmm. the spicy food. Does it hurt to have your head on fire? I'm a demon. We're sort of all about that. You get used to it. If you stuck your head in a bucket of water, would it help? Demon fire burns into water, so no. I'm guessing you don't wear hats. Once in a while. <laughs> I look good in them. For a few seconds. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about your head. I mean, what it would be like to have a head that was on fire. I can help you out with that if you are really curious. <laughs> Keep up the bad work. Always. It's good to see Lechaks. You, Swabi, come over here. You be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name? Swabby. <laughs> Crazy Beard, the Beardless. Look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Hmm. Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. Keel hauling. Oh, what's he doing here? A uh, flare? What? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Okay. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. Will it chuck through gullet over the side? Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. Hmm. Uh, Flair? What do you want? Forgive me, but I'm unclear. What exactly is your job on this ship? I'm the second mate, bosun, gunner, ship surgeon, and composer. And I do the laundry. Wow. Save a little for the rest of us, huh? You after my jobs? Better not be. I need the cash. I'm saving up. What are you saving up for? None of your business, Swabby. Hmm. Don't tell me anything. Well, how come you stabbed Gullet? He asked too many questions. 
How many questions did he ask? One. <laughs> well, we asked more. Uh, Claire? <sighs> what is it? What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. I'm happy with the first two notes. They're both do. The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes. My target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. He must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? Maybe. How's the score going? It would be going a lot better with fewer interruptions. Alright, let's try to see something else. What this what's this place? Oh. And what are you doing here? Cooking? Schlock. You'd think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It was demon pepper, made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. Doesn't matter though, the shaker's empty. I'm all out. Hmm. It sounds like screaming, but really quiet. <laughs> As we have here. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. Whoa. I'm not sure those are quite dead yet. Mm -hmm. At first I thought the privy must be behind there, but no. It's just the pantry. What is all this stuff anyway? Oh, you know, urchin husks, bile duck extract, sugar, fangweed, nothing unusual. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. <laughs> okay, let's so, talk Putra. with her. Chef, Putra, please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island boat. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. How come people don't call you chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. Mm. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? <laughs> I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska. But I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. Oh. So she have to be the chef to do that. So then the sea boat and then the the crow nest demon will vote also. Then we have two votes. Then we have to find the dagger and probably it's under the boat somewhere where is the the person who fly over the 
teleport. And who else? And Rose. Yeah. yeah. And the man who hanging there. And we have to get the entertainment for him. Ah. A lot of things to do here. What exactly is a scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. <laughs> what was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Me? Um... Mm. <laughs> I'm a zombie by marriage? <laughs> Good one. I was married once, too. I know what you mean. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. No, I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. My bridge club shunned me. Unbelievable. I know, it's outrageous. <laughs> no, I mean, he just didn't strike me as a bridge player. Anyway. Well. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Yeah. What do we have here? Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. I think that our friend is down here. Yeah! There he is. Go it! You! I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, Swabby. Well, it's actually first swab now. What is it? Me. LeChuck gave me your job. You? Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my <laughs> rat for a pillow. You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. But it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git! I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? Well, I guess you've got me there. <laughs> if I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. 
When I get my hands on you, I'm going to eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. <laughs> nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon! I get you for this. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. That's nice. Flair Gory's grandmother's whale knife. Oh. It's a beauty. Can I have it? You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. More. More. One. Let's do more. One more. That was second time. Okay. I lost my count. Let's do it again. Okay. Now it's good. Good to check again. Could help anything. Let me hey, pull Gullet. him. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. You're not able to do anything. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. So we have the knife. Oh, gosh. We have to give the knife to her. To Rose. I try to talk with her all the time. God damn it. Not that, that. What happened? You're not able to give it to her. What else we can try to do? No. Hey, I have been keep trying to give the prop knife. God. Oh, I don't miss that. It's Flair Gory's grandmother's whale knife. Well, we are not able to give it to her. Mm. Huh. Of course. No. Want to read Putra's request for promotion? Oh, believe me, I have seen that plenty of times. Okay. Would you this? like to read this pamphlet? No, thanks. I've already read that lots of times. Okay. You want this? No. You want to talk with the Mur Murray? He's very entertainment. No. Business card, do you want to read that? No. Map of tree? Nope. Let's try to talk with the lead shark. We have anything new things there. Shouldn't he be swabbing? Maybe. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured by me, at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So, I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. What do you think you're doing, Swabby? Back where you belong. Try to give this. Hey. Yeah, I don't think I could mimic his signature. It's pretty distinctive. Is 
this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you'll be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. Yeah, let's see that. That. Huh? Ghost rats. Ugh. Yep. I see. We have to look around here. Chickens. It's revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. <laughs> Let's use it. Can we do the report on this asshole? Hey, Gully. I'm assuming no one will actually read this and come down here to find him. Ah, sorry. These are ones. Disgraceful. How much are we able to do? One more. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Yeah, it's good to show show her. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? Okay. It's a stack of papers waiting for LeChuck's signature. And now we get the Lachuk signature. Then we're able to get the promotion paper. Copy the signature. <sighs> Shouldn't he be swabbing? Be at. There. Now we can get it. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stacked. <laughs> now please give me some peace and quiet. Excellent. It's Chef Putra's request for promotion, stamped by LeChuck. And now we give it to her. Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. Um, first swab. So, chef. Yeah. Now it's on all this quest. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? I do owe you one, but I'm still voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. Ah, see, copy her. Yeah, 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 I forget that. Now yeah. that you're a chef, would you make me a scorched Alaska? Of course. I have to warn you, though, it's not going to be very spicy. It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. Yeah, full, full. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska, extra mild. Thanks. Thanks. Do we dare? Yes. Salty. Hmm. 
Now we go to the crow, crow's nest. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Ugh, take the monstrosity away. Its blandness offends me, even at a distance. Scotch Alaska must be like a hot poker to the tongue. Almost. God. Does we have to do? We need help again. I do it wrong all the time. I have to give the knife to Flair, not to Rose. Flair! Here's your knife. I found your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. Yeah. Finally be able to get that. Uh, Flair? What do you want? I want to check in on your vote about going to Monkey Island. Relax. I'll vote with you. I owe you one. Go swap a deck or something. Will do. This here? That seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. I don't understand. This doesn't do anything. Do I have to take it? Ready for cannon firing. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. But that seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. But how? How it's make too hot? I see. There we go. Now we can. This should make it. it good and scorchy. Call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska, sweet poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. It seals me inside like a lost love, a masterpiece. Hey, there's some missing. I, um, well. Much respect, Swabby. I am in your debt. I hate being in date, so uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. <laughs> Excellent. Working hard? Never. Uh, about your vote. Relax. I'll back your play. Nice. Working Can hard? Never. More? Never. Uh, Keep up the bad work. Always. Always. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Nice. Now we can give it to the... Whoever he is, this one. The Bob. Uh, do we want to read something? Hey, Bob. I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. Nice. Bob, I confess I'm a little confused about what your job is. I mean, I know you hang up there all day. I'm just not sure why. As yard arm hanger, I serve as an example to the crew of what might happen if they break the rules. It's an important role. Though, admittedly, not an exciting one. 
And we have everyone's votes now. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith about not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. Okay, let's ring the bell. One bell, voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. Nay. Nay. Aye. 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 That's more eyes than before. The vote to go must be unanimous. Sorry, Swabby. Meeting adjourned. Do I forget something? Cork. Oh, sorry. Chef. Why you don't vote me? Do I forget something? So, Chef. You sure I can't change your mind on the monkey oh, island yeah, issue? Oh, yeah, the rose. I do owe you one. But I'm still voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. Ah. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. What? What do you want, Swabby? Why exactly are you trying to find the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island has tormented many a pirate. Some believe it doesn't exist, that it's just a myth or a joke concocted by a fool. None has been more obsessed over it than that idiot Guybrush. Me? I think it holds a mystical power to be harnessed for evil. And as an added bonus, it will drive Threepweed over the edge of madness. Threepwood. Wood with two O's. What was your name again? Uh, Swabby, with two beats. <laughs> Mind if I take a look at that map you were waving around earlier? Don't touch the map. Are you sure I can't take a peek at the map to the secret? <laughs> Just wash my hands. Touching that map <laughs> is a shortcut to being keelhole. Yeah. I may have figured out a way to get to Monkey Island. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? Uh, the one there, on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader, not a follower. Now get out of here so I can think! <laughs> the voodoo potion spell thingamajig is coming along great. Nothing to worry about. Then... Why are you bothering me about it? Now get out of here so I can think! I want to talk more. What do you want, Swabby? Didn't Guybrush Threepwood get to Monkey Island years ago? Guybrush Threepwood is a fancy pants wearing third rate sailor and a has been pirate! He stole the woman I loved! And I will eat his heart at the gates of hell. Did you really love Elaine, or was it more of a... My patience is wearing thin, Swabby! Now get out of here so I can think! <laughs> no, I want to talk more. What do you want, Swabby? Are you sure I can't take a peek at the map to the secret? Touching that map is a shortcut to being keelhole. Hmm. I have to get it somewhere. I'll just go swap something. Now get out of here so I can think! Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust. Commit fraud. Threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. 
Nah, thanks, I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're gonna vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. That's... Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. That... That was the key. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? The following medicine shipped to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island? Not right away. I still needed to get my hands on the Chuck's map to the secret. Okay, next thing to get the map from LeChuck. And we can see that what's happened the next time. <laughs> How we can get that one. How we can get the LeChuck's map to Monkey Island or Monkey Island secret map. I don't know. We have to get it. That I know. But I wish you good time. Have a good one. Bye bye.